Today's tragedy raises the question of how something so terrible could happen with a prop gun and blank bullets. Action 7 News reporter John Cardinale spoke with a movie extra who's worked with guns on a movie set. John. Yeah, that's right. I spoke with Paul Syke. He's been an extra in two movies. In both of those movies, he used prop handguns. In his experience, he tells me the protocols on set are very strict. We've been fighting a long time. Retired APD Commander Paul Syke handled a prop gun in this movie, Terminator Salvation. But it's a very strict process, very controlled, uh, because they obviously know we're dealing with weapons that are capable of firing live ammunition. He's worked on two movies with prop guns. Both times, he had a similar experience. There's one point of contact to get that firearm. Uh, it's given directly to you, and um, there is a question and answer uh, period that goes on when it comes to, you know, what do you have on you? Do you have any, you know, do, what do you have in your pockets? Things of that nature. Once the scene is done, Sykes says the guns are immediately returned to the person who handed them out. He says injuries could be possible with a blank round. You know, you could have some unburned gunpowder come out the end of the barrel, which is being ignited through, you know, oxid, um, you know, it, it's introduction to oxygen and, and it's essentially on fire for a moment as it leaves that barrel. So you could have some close contact um, injuries from blank rounds. When asked if a live round could get in the mix, he says it's not likely, but could happen if someone was loading a gun in the dark or in a hurry. Now, when loading that magazine, you would be able to clearly see, OK, look, this has a bullet on the end, a round on the end of it, or it doesn't. I asked Syke if he felt safe on set. He tells me he did, as those in charge of the prop guns were very thorough and very strict. Reporting live in Albuquerque, I'm John Cardinelli for KOAT Action 7 News. Of course, there are a lot of unknowns as this story develops. And as we learn more, stay with KOAT for the latest both on air and on our app.